Hello, welcome to FMOD in two minutes, the series for beginners in game audio implementation. Today, we're looking at the async feature, which is located down here next to the volume master. Here, I've got two pieces of music. I've simply doubled them and I want to create a little bit more interest every time it loops. So I've put one of them just off beat. So it sounds like it's has, having this really cool delay feature. In this case, I've used the same piece of music twice. You can use anything for the second loop. I'm just showing the, you the example. I understand that I could also achieve this effect that I'm about to show you with a delay, but that's not the point of this exercise. I wanna show you what async does to give you more ideas. But of course, having the loop region means that I have this big, bit of blank section, big bit of silence for the second one, which sounds a little bit off when we loop back around. Right? So what we want to do is select this second event instru instrument and go down here and click the async button. Right? What this means now is that as the cursor goes over the start of this event instrument, it will trigger a playback of the entire event, no matter where this new cursor moves to. For example, if I move to the end, and I'll just mute this for the sake of it. You'll see an event instance has been... You'll see a play trigger has happened. It's playing the entire event, regardless of where this is going, it will finish. You can also notice that now there are two playing at the same time because the cursor has moved over the start twice. We don't want this because this sounds messy. We just want one instance playing at one given time. So down here next to trigger behavior, we're going to open this panel up and we're going to turn the polyphony, which is at the moment set to infinite, down to something like one. The next thing we want to do, we want to make sure that the stealing, so the replacement, if there's more than one instance triggered simultaneously, is not happening, right? Because if it goes to oldest, it means it will still be replacing the previous instance of it in the middle of a play session, for instance, play instance, which might sound jarring and, you know, off. So we want to turn that to none so that even if two or three or more instances are triggered at the same time, it finishes playing that one original instance first. That will mean it'll sound something like this when it loops. As you can see, no second instance was triggered and this one continues to play. And that's it. I would highly recommend you experiment with different layers, maybe more than one layer with the async option, maybe higher counts of polyphony. And hopefully this gives you um, some inspiration in whatever situation you find yourself in right now.